edition of Tuesdays with TJ, your resilience muscle workout. And this week, we are honored to have a very, very, very special guest. And if you follow me on Facebook, you probably have a good idea who this beautiful woman is who looks like she's more like my sister. She's probably a little nervous because she don't really know what I'm going to ask her. So anyway... I thought it was fitting that I sat here with my beautiful, beautiful mom, who I absolutely adore. She is the epitome of resilience. She was my first example of resilience. But this woman actually uh, let me turn down a full four-year scholarship to a, we'll just say a white university, so that I could go to my dream school of Howard University, where she, she worked inside of a hot plant to put me through school. This is a woman who, when I told her that I wanted to live and work in Los Angeles, she didn't bat an eye. She just told me, let's figure out how to make it happen. And as a result, I am an award-winning television editor and author. I know some of you guys wanted to know who is the Wanda Mercer because I have this thing on Facebook called the Mama Chronicles where I, you know, chronicle how she goes off on us. And it is not a complete day with her for me. I love to terrorize her. But it's not a complete day until I push her to the point of her saying, Tony, go to hell. Now, she probably thinks she's cringing that I'm actually putting that out there. But <laughs> unless she tells me to go to hell at the end of the day, <laughs> I hadn't done my job. She got me this morning, y'all. <laughs> she, she got me good. I have been torturing and terrorizing her all week. <laughs> and this morning, she got major payback. Should I tell the story? You tell okay, so, so I'm sleeping upstairs. She's sleeping downstairs. That's her bedroom over there. And so she, I guess she heard me come getting ready to come down the stairs. So in my head, I was already plotting because I thought she was still in bed. So I was already plotting what I was gonna do. I was gonna stick my finger in her nose, drip some water on her. I had, was, had planned out as I was coming down the stairs what I was going to do. And so, and so I came down the stairs, I went over here to plug up my laptop, and this woman, <laughs> had, this must not funny, this is not funny. This woman had positioned herself in a shadow spot. <laughs> And was real steel. And when I turned around <laughs> to head into her bedroom to torture her, all I saw, all I saw was this shadow. <laughs> I screamed for days. <laughs> I, I, you must see you wrong. And see, people think it's just me. But, I screamed for days. I would have put Jamie Lee Curtis to shame in Halloween on how loud I screamed. And so she fell out laughing. I had to sit here on the couch and collect myself for like 10 minutes. I'm glad that I had gone to the bathroom already because I would have peed on myself. And all she kept saying was, I got you. I got you. And then she was like, now make sure you put that on Facebook. Make sure you put that on Facebook. So, because I'm always putting all the other stuff that I do with her on Facebook. And so, what what that made me think about is, that's resilient, basically. She laid in the cut and just waited for her opportunity to just go. And baby, she went. She got me. She paid me back. I had to actually, I sat down. I walked around the house for a minute to let my heart settle down because she scared the crap out of me. So I had to tell you that to get to the point here of what I want to talk to her about. Oh, come on, it's time to be serious, okay? okay, okay. No laughing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Time okay. To be serious. So we're going to be serious. Okay. We're going to be serious. Okay. Mom, what would you say, you know, what would be your advice to, to a single parent? Uh, I would say to sacrifice for them because their early years uh, are the years that you're nurturing them and teaching them how to survive no matter what. Sacrifice your time because eventually the children are going to grow up and then you're going to realize, where was my time spent? I didn't spend my time with my children. They were in everything. Bud, Tony, they were in everything. Bud is my brother. I didn't miss any of their events. I put everything on the back burner. 
for my children. And now I'm reaping the benefits because they give back to me so much because of my sacrifices. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. There's no mountains. What? I beg that iPad too. Ma, okay, leave the iPad out of it. Um, you just had to tell. You can't act right for nothing, huh? Okay. We're supposed to be professional because I'm professional. Okay. Okay, so there's really, besides the iPad that I eventually finally got her, but besides the iPad, <laughs> there's really nothing that I wouldn't do for her, and I, I, I think my brother would agree. Okay, your resilience muscle workout for the week. If you're a single parent, raise your kids. Raise your kids. Go into planting season. I, I can't say whoop their butts, because she cannot say she didn't get a whooping. But I know the law now says you can't lay your hand on them. But I dared my children. I told them, call the police. We, we got I'm out. gonna see what you gonna get at a foster home. I'm gonna see what kind of <laughs> shoes you going to wear. What kind of clothes you going to wear because they're taking me to jail and then you going to a foster home. So call the police on me. See, see what I did, <laughs> I can even get through the lesson, y'all. Ain't no real no lesson. This is just been for entertainment purposes. Whatever you can glean out of this rambling that we had, just glean from it and then meet me right here next week on Tuesdays with TJ. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hug yourself for me and See all that? I love my mom. Bye. Bye. To get a free download of chapters from my award-winning book, 40 Days Till 40, visit www.tuesdayswithtj.com and click on free stuff.